Hi guys, how we doing? We back out here on the S10 again. Uh, today I said I started on actually yesterday evening. Started on putting the wheel tubs back in. Um, got them where they fitted and slid them up under where I cut it at. I slid it back up under this this rail here about a half inch, something like that, to get the grooves to line up. <coughs> Tacked all that in place. Same thing on the other side. Then we took a, one of them spare hoods. We got out of a, one of Barry's spare hoods that was messed up. Cut up some five and a quarter inch wide strips. And they're four foot long, something like that. And uh, started shaping them into place. And tack welding them all in place. We took a, this bug is ugly, but but it's just tight. Um, these little old zip screws, you know, it's screwed down, because it overlaps over here about a half an inch. And inside there, about a half an inch. So they give me the metal to weld to and the screw to in here. Zip screws. Got it bent and shaped in submission and started tack welding it. Run out of argon, so I got to get a bottle tomorrow. And, uh, but that's that's where we're at. It don't look, I mean, time I put seam sealer over it and some bed coating or something like that, you know, it, it'll be all right. Not gonna be perfect, but that's okay. The whole truck ain't perfect. But anyway, we'll get that done. You got the sand the whole inside of the bed. I mean, that's whatever they put on it. Just peeling off, we'll sand all that down and get it, get it ready to paint. I may go ahead and do all that and paint the bed before I put it back on the truck. I'm gonna take it off tomorrow. Then we got the, uh, <clears throat> oh. where, my, where my fuel cell's gonna go. Got a handle on it, but there's the little trap door. That'll be on. It'll be on hinges, and uh, that's where we'll fill the fuel cell up. Fuel cell will sit up under the bed, which y'all know that. There's the fuel pump, filter, regulator, A and fittings, and all that good stuff. Fuel cell just sitting here waiting. It's uh, it had the uh, it had the other style old rubber plastic top lid, and I don't like them things. So it had this one. So we put that on there. You know, fitting up there, eight a eight in eight a in. I'll get it right in a minute full vent line. That one's been tapped and plugged because I didn't need two of them up here. And then 6AN right there for the um, fuel pump filter and all that. And that one's plugged in case we ever do something different. But anyway, that's where we're at. We've been fiddling on this thing the last couple of days. Slowly but surely. And uh, I'm getting where I like the stamps of it a little better all the time. I think it'll be fine. Um, everybody's worried me to death about the bed not being centered up. Well, it's close. I mean, it's it's where the rear end is where the rear end was, and the bed's within a quarter inch or so of where it was. So it is what it is. I'm gonna let her go. But anyway, guys, that's what we've been up to the last couple of days. And uh, slowly but surely, we're getting there. That, that's not going to look too bad. I mean, the tubs are a little bit bigger than I was wanting them to be, but where I messed up on my cut, and it is what it is. So anyway, guys, let me get right and take the grandson to T-ball practice. And uh, we'll be back on this thing again tomorrow. 
All right. See you guys later. Have a good one.